Today, the sheriff talked about a recent encounter Worth had with Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies, according to a report obtained by Denver 7. Worth told an employee at an insurance agency something to the effect of, I should just get my gun and shoot the first cop I see. Well, that employee called the sheriff's office there to alert them of those remarks. And later that same day, when Park County deputies tried to talk to him about it, he ended up getting tackled in the driveway of his home after he wouldn't stop to discuss it with them. Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez joins us now. And Lance, you spoke with people who consider Worth a friend. And Eric, they paint an entirely different picture of Worth than the one coming to light. They say the man they knew was generous and helped the homeless. One of Worth's friends told me he's receiving threats for saying positive things about it. Honestly, my deepest condolences. Tim Holland says it's difficult to talk about Martin Worth after what happened. I feel sympathy all around. I feel bad for the police officers that were killed. We here in Denver, those of us who loved Martin, we feel a tremendous sense of loss for our friend. Holland says he met Worth in 2011 when Occupy Denver was getting underway. He described Worth as a Bernie Sanders-esque populist who ran for Senate as a Green Party candidate. He says he knew nothing about Worth's arrest in 1994 for shooting a man in Fort Collins following a chess game gone awry. Worth was acquitted in that case. During his Senate run, Worth posted on Facebook, some police know they need to be abolished. Still, friends say Worth was an intelligent man who worked as an engineer. He was also one of these people, you get to be over 50 and suddenly you're an expendable member of the, of the workforce. I did not pay mortgage to a bunch of crooks known as Nation Star Mortgage. In this YouTube video, Worth said making payments to his mortgage company was like contributing to criminal behavior. They're really trying to paint it like he was some Waco maniac and he was not like that. He was a, a good guy. And Holland told me he understands that many people will always think of Worth as a cop killer. But he says Worth was also a friend to many people. And Eric? Thank you, Lance. And as we learn more about the deputies and what they faced when they tried to evict Martin Worth, we will be sure to share that information with you. Also, check out the Denver 7 app where you can read more about how Nate Kerrigan was involved in the community. Plus, we have outlined Worth's past run-ins with authorities.